Movies, uh, video games, uh, craft beer, uh, sandwich revolver. Uh, I'm Carl Diamond. Uh, I'm John Reed. And on today's episode, our top 10 movies of 2018. Exactly. Yeah! Alright, we have here. Enter Night! Enter Night by Stone Brewery in collaboration with Metallica! <laughs> oh, hey! What's nice, refreshing? It's quite good. Not so much a hoppy flavor, but kind of like a dry flavor. Definitely not hoppy, but if taste could, like, take up space, it's taking up the entirety it's of it's my a, mouth. It's got a big alcohol. body. Yeah, that's the word. That's how, that's how you describe alcohol. Oh, like 5.7%. Nice, one pint. So Stone Brewery is located in Escondido, California. They've been around since 1996. They make one hell of a good beer. Predator, directed by Shane Black. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it took Predator in new directions and it was surprisingly funny. Oh, very good. I like Shane Black a lot. Oh, that was three sentences. Broke the rule. Your thoughts? Oh, Predator? Fucking hated it. Uh, it's, it's garbage. <laughs> Avengers Infinity War. What? I know you're infamous for yeah. not loving but, the Marvel films. But that films, made my list. But I like it. For me, it sounds more like, yeah, it's my bottom ten. Out of all the movies I saw, I really liked that. I, that was like I, my ten. So Infinity War for me was the final you know, amalgamation of all the movies so far. And it managed to get all these actors together, all these characters together, in one cohesive story that also had a lot of high stakes in it and had a lot of risk because you knew these characters might die. I agree with all those. I it, It's in a very different position on my list. The Meg. The Meg, okay. It was a lot of fun. In my opinion, it's the best shark movie made since Jaws. Hey, what about Deep Blue Sea? I thought it was better than Deep Blue Sea. Oh, okay. It's a full-blown budget Hollywood shark film, which uh -huh. there's almost none of. Mm. It actually felt like they were trying. Okay, okay. And it wasn't a cash-in. All right. I love the Meg. Halloween. 2018. Sequel to the original Halloween, retconning all the other Halloween sequels that have happened over the 80s and 90s. Brought back Laurie Strode, Jimmy Lee Curtis. I thought Halloween 2018 was really fun and just a great time. My wife and I had watched all the Halloween movies prior to it. <laughs> Some of them get horrible. This one managed to be a lot of fun. My, my brief two cents, I loved the remake. It's a better sequel than the original Halloween 2. Oh, way better than the original Halloween 2. Original Halloween 2 is really, really overrated. Black Panther. Okay. I'm going to say something slightly controversial. John Reeve. Controversial man. I love the movie. I don't think it's nearly the pinnacle that everyone says it is. Okay. In terms of just looking at it as a movie. I do think a lot of people give it its praise because it stars a bunch of African-American men and women and is not super whitewashed at all. It is absolutely something worth celebrating over, and I love it for that. Mm -hmm. It's a rare gem in Hollywood, just as a film on its own with characters and story. I don't think it's the greatest Marvel movie ever made. The importance of the film is, is higher than the quality of the film. Yes. Okay. I liked it as well. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I went into this movie thinking, ah, it's gonna be okay. Everyone's hyping it up, and I had a fantastic time. It told a story I had never seen, I've never seen before, where you have a whole bunch of people from different dimensions who are all Spider-Men and Spider-Women and Spider-Creatures that work together to achieve a common goal. I forgot to put this on my list. Oh no! It's Halloween 2018. Oh, okay. Myself. All right, 2018. We already talked about it, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's my number seven. Won't you be my neighbor? It made me cry in front of a whole bunch of people watching it on an airplane. Here I am, a 30-year-old man. Tears coming down my face. Mr. Rogers was humanized and showed that he was just trying to do the best job he could with what he had. And it was just a beautiful documentary. Won't you be my neighbor? I have actually not seen it. Go see and it! Deadpool 2. It's just, a, it's just a really fun movie. It's overly violent. It's overly raunchy. It's just like every kind of thing that's like inappropriate or not allowed. I love all the blood, I love all the humor, I love all the jokes. And since it's a superhero movie, it adds that little bit to it. Okay. I kind of like that put one better. What in the fucksicle is this? The Meg. I had a great time watching this movie. I saw it with him and his wife. Yep. First with my wife as well, and then again with my wife and 40X. It's such a fun shark movie. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it does enough well to be entertaining and worth your money. 
Mary Poppins too. It's not like Mary Poppins is my favorite mm -hmm. Disney movie. It was the only one I'd seen in like my whole modern life that had dance choreography. Ah, uh, the old Hollywood dancing and everything. Because I'm like, oh yeah, there's going to be songs. But as soon as they get to more dancing again, I was like, oh yay, no one does this anymore. It was it's the first Disney hand animation movie oh. since Princess and the Frog. Oh, cool. Emily Blunt was fantastic in the movie. Very nice musical. I have not seen Mary Poppins Returns. <laughs> yeah. Mandy. I'm the director of Beyond the Black Rainbow. If you've never seen that movie, nope. you will fall asleep. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Nicolas Cage, Andrea Risenborough, Richard Brake. Fantastic psychedelic revenge movie. It's so weird and cool. I recommend checking it out. Ralph breaks the internet. Okay. It, it's like if you took the idea sort of of Emoji Movie, but really made it good. When you actually see it, you go, oh, they actually tried. There's just one bit where you see all the Disney princesses are back. As many of them that are still alive mm -hmm. all came back to voice their original yeah, characters. Yeah, I, I heard that. And there's like scenes where there's Star Wars and Marvel, and this is the most meta Disney film that has ever been. And I haven't seen Record Ralph. Mission Impossible. Fallout. Fuck. Fallout. Fallout. Mission Impossible Fuck would be a great title, but no. Fallout, Fallout is good. I forgot to put it on my list. Ah! I, Mission Impossible Fallout was the best action movie I've seen since Mad Max Fury Road. I would absolutely agree. Constantly moving, constantly entertaining. It's like a cartoon. The characters are animated. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. They're, they're all, everyone's larger than life and everything is great. And anyone who doesn't like Tom Cruise movies, you're just wrong. Really he constantly puts out good action Watch movies. Watch The Mummy. He tried really hard. That should be the name <laughs> of Die Hard 6 is Tried Hard. <laughs> Incredibles 2. Okay. I love Incredibles. Incredibles is my favorite Pixar film. Uh -huh. I thought it was a fantastic follow-up. I love the role reversal. I love Elastigirl. It's just the best Fantastic Four movie out there that's not called officially Fantastic Four. I really liked Incredibles too. It's not on my list, but you know, I, I had a good time. Isle of Dogs. I love stop motion. It's my favorite animation format. Isle of Dogs was dark, funny, quirky, weird, just a good time. It had references to Akira Kurosawa movies, Talking Dogs, Jeff Goldblum. It's, it's totally worth watching. I recommend you go see it. I actually did not see it. I also really love stop motion animation. I just bought like the Leica collection. Ready Player One. Gigantic reason for that was because it was made by Steven Spielberg. It was the most old Steven Spielberg action directing I've seen, well, since last time he made a big action movie. Mm -hmm. And it it just exploded my imagination on screen. Oh man, that's great. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. I, I had a really good time with the Ready Player One. Hereditary. Sometimes horror movies are just very consumable. Mm -hmm. Nothing that really scares me. I have a lot of good time with the fantasy of it, mm -hmm. but something that never really terrifies me. Okay, so... Until I saw Hereditary, and Hereditary got to me. Got to me like The Ring got to me back in 2000 when I was a kid. I almost thought about leaving the theater because I was so scared. Super uncomfortable, beautifully shot movie, wonderfully directed, wonderfully acted. If you haven't seen Hereditary, go out and see it if you're looking for a scary movie because it is fantastic. I honestly also really liked Hereditary. It's Infinity War. Oh, burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Superhero movie. To sum it up, I don't think any other movie has ever done this or tried this successfully and accomplished it. So that's a big reason why I put it as number one, is I think it, it's a big achievement in cinema. Infinity War is massively impressive. Upgrade. Lee Wanell's cyberpunk revenge movie about a guy who is turned into a paraplegic when his wife is killed and he's fit with a cybernetic chip that bridges the gap in his spine and gives him the ability to have a computer process all his actions. The violence in this movie is insane. The action is awesome. There's guys that have shotguns in their arms. <laughs> it's just so much fun. While I am state of the art, I am not a ninja. That is our first list. Our top 10 movies of 2018. Exactly. And we hope you enjoyed it. Stone Breweries Enter Night. 
a very nice beer. I highly recommend you In try. In collaboration with Metallic. It we are we are paid by them. We hope you had a good time. I'm Carl Diamond. I'm John Reeve. This is Sandwich Revolver. Like and subscribe. Watch movies, play video games, drink beer, enjoy yourself. Please well, don't get those mixed up. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.